Yo, what is good guys? It's Cryptic TMG back with a brand new video. And this time we're gonna be talking about a set of course of competizione, and these are the top five things I feel they must change to help improve the game and give a better experience to everyone who's playing the game. And um, yeah, I'm sure there's been other videos mentioning some of the things I might have on this list, and I'm sure other people have their own ideas. Tell me your top five things in the comments below that you'd like to see change on ATC. And yeah, let's hope for maybe let's let's try and get like a hundred likes or something to the video, man. We need it. Let's get it, guys. So at number five, we're going to be talking about the roadmap for ACC. Now I got this game in 2018 when it was just a beta, and we always had a roadmap. And now that the roadmap sort of come to the end. There's not sort of a lot of news coming out of what's going on. We don't know what the future holds for the game. Um, and as much as I love the game, it is beginning to get just a little bit boring, man. We've all done endurance races, um, racing leagues, um, CP server, all that sort of stuff. We've done it all. Um, there's massive scope for this game. You've got the GT Challenge Asia, GT Challenge America, GT Challenge Australia. Um, there's so much um, that could be done with this game in terms of DLC. We don't know if it's possible, but if it's not possible, at least give us some direction. Like what's going on? What what can we expect next? Are we going to get the any new cars? Or because at the end of the day, there's not that many tracks in the game, so it's becoming very stale very quickly. And I don't want to get bored of this game because I love this game. But at the end of the day, you know, we 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 need more content, man. We definitely definitely need more content and more direction when it comes to ACC. At number four is going to be the setup screen. Now, for me personally, it's not, you know, I don't really struggle with setups in terms of, you know, knowing what uh, a dampers and, and spring stiffness does. But for most people who are not quite sure and for how detailed this game is, it's so intricate in terms of your aero variation, your tire pressures and stuff like that. I don't feel like the description on the right hand side gives enough details into what you need to change to affect your car and how it affects your car whereas you know on other games which i'll be showing you in a minute like for instance on race room you get quite a lot of you know quite a lot of information about what you're changing for your car and it can help you if you're someone who's not used to making your own setups it can actually help you in building a setup for your own driving style which is what we should all be sort of trying to aim to do um so here on race room which is a very good game in its own right but in terms of you know details and stuff like that is definitely not acc but if you can click on anything in the setup you will have a description of it on the right hand side and as you go down it will say to get rid of understeer or or to to increase if you increase the stiffness of a, a slow rebound it will increase the you know it will increase that the oversteer or or whatever but at the same time it will give you the cons of that if you do this then this will happen if you do that then that will happen and I feel like in ACC, we are definitely missing that. Um, as I said before, the setups in ACC are very, very, very intricate. And you can completely kill a setup by clicking on the wrong thing, one or two clicks too much. And yeah, you can absolutely kill a setup on ACC. So I feel like it's important for them to give out the right information and help people to, you know, sort of direct them in a, in a way where they're going to be able to figure out how to make a setup. Because most people to them, it's just... It's just a science. Most people just go in online buying setups and that's all great. But, you know, you should always want to make a setup for your Pacific driving style, you know, and that's going to help you get the best out of yourself. That's going to help you get the best out of the car that you're driving. So hopefully they can do something like that, man, and just provide a little bit more information for a game that is so detailed, man. It would definitely be worth it. At number three, we've got the good old friend, the contact model. Now for ACC, and for GT cars in in real life, they are quite robust, man. And I feel like on ACC, they just I don't know whether it's just like slightly laggy or 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 what, but it's like it, it doesn't take a lot of contact to have a massive crash. Now I'm not saying all these guys in this clip shouldn't have maybe you know slowed down yellow flags or whatever, but the actual incident that causes the crash is literally just someone getting a tad bit of oversteer. I think it was Omen and Noble going side by side. Omen gets just a little bit of oversteer, touches Noble, and he's straight up from the grass. Nothing you can do. And we've all seen crashes like this in ACC. Little touches 
sometimes equal massive crashes and it it's not like you know it happened on a on a straight at a ridiculous amount of speed you know it was round the corner and it was just yeah mayhem after that man so hopefully they can really sort of you know try and tone that down a bit at number two and it was definitely close is the pit stops man and yo we all know the pit stops on this game can be an absolute nightmare and um i'll show you a clip in a minute of my race on wednesday where it seemed as if i got the pit stop right both times and yeah all i can say is it, it just loses you too much time for the minuscule that you could be off okay um most times i'm perfectly fine with pit stops and i've seen it with tons of people before there's always bugs in the pit stops I, i've had bugs from the beginning we've had all sorts of bugs that we've had in the pit stops and i just feel like they've just made it too complicated why have a red box that you can drive into have your whole car in the red box but still have a bad pit stop you know i feel like just get rid of the, the red box just have the lollipop man and and that's it okay you don't need a red box because it actually doesn't really mean that much okay so my first pit stop as you can see was fine this is my second pit stop now and i'm going to come into the pit lane again and you can see me pull up to the red box i'm inside the red box again but for some reason <laughs> okay it's just i'm just off i'm just off and i was almost in the exact same position i was in before and you know being just a little bit off it cost you a good two and a half seconds and this actually ended up losing me um, quite a few positions actually um yeah it was just super 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 annoying man super annoying at number one has got to be the tire pressures on this game the tire pressures on acc are just i don't know bro it's so annoying it is literally so annoying now you can see with these tire pressures I did a few laps before this I'm at like 27.3 on the front left 27.2 on the left rear and so you think if you're trying to get your PSI to so 27.7 all you need for the front left is you know 0.4 of a PSI all you need for the the rear left is 0.5 of a PSI so I'll go up on the PSI's I go up by the 0.4 and the 0.5 on the on the rear on the right hand side I feel like I need like uh like 12 clicks up and i feel like that should constitute to having the right tire pressures but for whatever reason on acc sometimes to me it has a mind of its own you can literally adjust the tire pressures to the point where they should be spot on but for some reason when you go out on the track they're nowhere near and that's why at the moment whenever i make a, a tire pressures for a serious race i always use motec i hardly ever use the game but for people on the console that do not have motec and um, they they don't have they're not able to use any sort of apps to help them you know they're going to be just messing around with your tire pressures and it has such a big effect on your race pace literally if you have the wrong tire pressures for a race right and i found for me personally whenever the tire pressures are too low like under under 27.5 it's like bro you lose so much pace and i actually only learned recently that tire pressures don't actually go off of the track temperature they go off of the air temperature and again that was some information that was um not really out there you know <laughs> it wasn't something that was blatantly out there most people i think probably still think that you make your tire pressures off of the track temp as i did as i know a lot of other people did you know so um yeah it's it's, it's super annoying you can see now i actually did a few more laps i did about four laps after that and look at my tire pressures still at 27.4 so even after I went up um, on the tire pressures in the pit lane to, to get the tire pressures to where I think they should be, you can still see my tire pressures are still too low. And that's what I'm talking about. It needs to be simplified. Um, I even heard that the, uh, the real life racing drivers, when they were playing the game at the Spa 24 hours, they were saying that the, the, it's too sensitive, you know, the tire pressures are a bit too sensitive. So i really wish they would change it i really wish they would just just tone it down a bit because it has such a big effect on your races man. But you guys remember leave me your top five things you'd like to see change also like and subscribe if you're new cryptic tmg peace